welcome back. We're going to show you how to revise the uh, beetle spin, how to set it up, and different types of methods you guys can use for the beetle spin as well. First off, I'm going to get into uh, um, blade selection. You don't necessarily need the smaller blade for the beetle spin. And uh, a beetle spin to me is only good in the early spawning months of crappie fishing, bluegill fishing, and bass fishing. Now, if you want to use this thing for a bigger profile uh, bait, you're going to use a bigger profile jig head. You're going to use a bigger blade. Now, what I mean about taking off the blade, you can remove this blade. There's a little clasp here that you can remove the blade and put different types of blades on this. This is a Colorado blade. You can put another bigger Colorado blade on this uh, beetle spin to, if the water is um, darker, you could use a copper or a um, gold color blade for darker water and uh, like lighter baits on the hook and a bigger hook to catch bass or a smaller jig head to catch crappie and bluegill. Here's color bait or a white color, or white chartreuse color for darker waters. Um, I find that uh, like in clear waters, black works really good and chartreuse works. Clear water, um, I find that white works great in um, darker water with a chartreuse tail or you know, lighter color bait would work really good with this. You don't necessarily need to go out and buy the Johnson spin. The Johnson spins are good, but you could buy these really cheap online for like, I don't know, two or three dollars for about five or six of them. Uh, you can change the blades out. I will leave in this video right about here what I'm talking about. You can buy uh, different colored blades in bulk to either make inline spinners or replace the blades on uh, spinner baits and these beetle spins as well. I'll put it right there. Okay, those were the... Uh, you know the replacement blades i'll put a link down in the description as well to where you guys can find those replacement blades to put on this uh beetle spin to make it more effective you could put a bigger blade on this thing to catch bigger fish with a bigger profile jig head to catch bass walleye um crappie i mean you could even put a trout magnet jig head on here and uh, use this to catch trout and crappie as well with trout magnet jig heads and trout magnet uh, plastic baits as well. Okay, we're going to get into how we're going to rig your uh, beetle spin. First of all, if you want to remove the blade to put a different color blade on there, you take this like this little in this little clasp right here that runs off the uh, swivel, and you can just you know like a key on a keychain, you just open it up. Take the blade off of it, you know, until it comes off. Don't take it all the way off. Put the other next blade that you're going to replace it with and just slide it over there and then push the other one off and it pushes the new one right on. Uh, you can replace that silver blade to a different color blade. After you get done doing that, um, you can put on your jig head. Um, once you figure out what type of uh, beetle spin you want to run, you can run one for bass with like bigger baits like a 3.5 inch uh, plastic minnow or a you know a, a swim bait you could use swim baits for these tiny micro swim baits or medium sized swim baits for bass and crappie uh, you pick out which type of jig head you want either a big 1 8 ounce jig head or a 1 16 ounce jig head I'm going with the lighter profile and uh, you just slide your hook on there and it goes right on the on the uh, beetle spin and then you hook it on there like that it is as simple as that it's a very simple rig guys to do and you can replace the blades on them like I showed you earlier that and I will leave a link in the description down there for uh, different blades now what I mean about changing the blade out silver is a good clear water um, blade and this should work in most clear water conditions, but if you got really dark, murky water, you may want to change the blade out to a gold blade or a copper blade because that copper blade in darker tones of water will be picked up more by the fish with a dark, with a light color bait like a white, pearl white, or a monkey milk color, or 
a white and chartreuse color on this bait will annihilate um, crappie and bass and bluegill. Now, when you do, even though you put the plastic on here, guys, um, you may want to put a little bit of super glue right on the end of there. Once you put that plastic on there, it won't come off while you're throwing it. Like I said, this is a good early spring bait to catch uh, um, pretty much multi-species of fish in early spring. Um, I have not so much uh, late in the fall, you know, like uh, in the middle of summer, it'll just start down. You won't catch anything with this thing. But early spawn, this will work fairly well. I mean, if you run in two rods with just a jig and one of these and casting it out and retrieving it, to catch early spawning fish it'll work for that now um there's different types of baits guys you can use out there like i said i got an example a little bit of an example of what type of baits you want to run on here um you know you don't necessarily need the johnson grub to put on here you can put on the uh b m black and blue um chartreuse color this one here is good for like um midsummer like late summer fishing in uh clear water because it's a dark color with a chartreuse tail that'll annihilate them you can put the curly tail jig on that one um now early spring i find the black color is a really good color for the uh beetle spin if you find like a black curly tail jig or a black like uh baby shad like minnow looking bait to put on here uh this is a black color uh, good clear water bait for catching crappie and bluegill and even bass with this black color uh, and chartreuse is a good um, dark water color bait this is a yum it's a curly tail jig for yum um, you can catch pretty much multi-species on this not just uh, not just uh, crappie and bluegill you can catch bass with them early spring uh, it's a good color for cl uh, for dark water conditions, but I've even caught bass with uh, these chartreuse colors and um, even clear water as well. Sometimes you, you never know. Now, color of jig head varies. I've had luck using just plain lead jig heads, so I really don't think color matters with jig heads, but you can put chartreuse jig heads on there if you want. Um, you can put like a green... Uh, chartreuse white um you know black jig heads it, it really don't matter i've caught them with you know any color jig head people overemphasize jig head colors sometimes it might be a factor i don't know um now this one right here is a good winter bait this is the chartreuse in white it's good for uh dark water conditions um like murky water conditions in the winter time uh you know even a white curly tail jig will be good for winter time fishing months uh because it kind of matches the hatch with the uh mayfly hatches because when mayflies come up out of these lakes and these rivers are they're kind of white colored and my final um option that you could put on these um on these uh little beetle spins is a bobby garland baby shad or a gulp alive minnow will be good for these uh, little um, beetle spins as well. You don't necessarily got to buy the Johnson, but what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to rig this up. Uh, take one of these curly tail jig heads and just put one on here to show you how to do this. And uh, once we do this, it's pretty much complete. And uh, that's pretty much how you rig the curly tail jigs or the you know you can take a grub jig and put it on here you can even put a piece of bait on here just a bait alone you can put a worm on here and just chuck it out there and or you can put a uh, a maggot on here a real maggot or wax worm you could put crappie nubs on there if you wanted to without a uh without a skirt or trailer bait and just chuck it out there and you can still catch fish but uh we're going to show you how to do this put the uh you know, you put your little grub on there and you run it almost all the way to the back of the bait, like so. I don't know if you can see that. Run it all the way to the back of the bait. Before you slide it over that jig head, you might want to put a little bit of super glue on the end of that jig head and push the bait all the way on top of it like that. 
and it should be perfect and that's how you set up a uh a beetle spin guys and you can remove the blade change the blade out i don't i don't have a replacement blade for this so i couldn't show you how to do it i'm sorry but there's ways you can replace the blade on it for darker water conditions but in light water conditions this should be a great little uh you know spinner for this um you're going to be able to catch a lot of multi-species with this rig um ranging from walleye i've seen people catch pike with these i've seen people catch brim bluegill green haired sunfish bass trout i mean if it swims you're going to be able to catch it like i said you can put the bigger uh jig profile on there put a bigger jig head on there and a bigger blade and you can literally catch bigger species of fish with this thing your uh, beetle spins for multi-species of fishing. If you guys like this video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. And tell me what you think on the video. And to give me your feedback, peace out, everybody. It's been your old pal, Hondo.